Um, oh god, you need 10 rock pikmin. I guess I'll be getting more rock pikmin. Fuck, I gotta stop eating this Tim Tam. It's hampering my ability to for motor functions. Oh god. Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Giving fun in heaven. <laughs> oh, okay. Jim. Yeah. Welcome back, Jim. Uh. Welcome back, Jim. How was your trip? It was nice. How was your trip down memory lane? Did you want a trip down memory lane? Tell me how it was. Are you gonna need a bike? I said, tell me. Where'd you go? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I only got one from that one. What fucking shit? That's shit. Um. I'm gonna leave. What the fuck was that? I, I'm gonna leave Brittany here. Brittany's a slap. A fucking slap. I'm gonna take all my red Pikmin. And go and pick up all that shit, yeah? Yep. And then I'm gonna let Brittany handle all the fucking dirty work. Oh, you build the bridge. You'd be good. Yeah. Well, that's the only way you can get here. No, on the other Actually, way. no. You could just throw. You could just throw all the dudes. That would be time inefficient, Jim. If I was a kindergarten teacher and I played a lot of Pikmin, the temptation to throw kids... <laughs> Into like line. ...other adults... <laughs> Will be overwhelming at other adults. Yeah. Why? So they could swarm and like hit them until they fall down. Why do you want to kill the adults? I don't know. What's the equivalent of a bulb orb in your life? Um, a horse. A fat guy. <laughs> a horse. For <laughs> kindergartners that are horses. <laughs> oh, dude, they get bucked in the face. You'd have like concussion kids. All right, who do like... you reckon would win in a fight? <laughs> like in his prime, Schwarzenegger. With like a whole bunch of kindergartners fighting Olmar style, or a horse. Wait, so Arnold Schwarzenegger wouldn't be fighting? No, he'd have ten kids at his disposal. No, fifteen kids. Yeah, so he. Why would you even need Arnold Schwarzenegger? He, so that he, he can be Olmar throw the kids around. Oh, because he's just strong enough. He's to strong enough, yeah. Um, but no, I think the reason he's and able like he to can't, like he can't fight the horse. I think the the reason he's able to throw the Pikmin so hard is because he grabs him by the, the head, mm. the little like. He, the, yeah. kid, the kids that have little harnesses. He swings them around like a rope. And kids, like They'd yeah. all be wearing like overalls, like really tight overalls, so you can like grab them by like handles and just throw them. That, yeah, that's kind of fucked up. It's like You're going to win. It's like kindergarten. Kindergarten cop if it was a real action movie. Like how many kindergartners can an average horse take? It depends on their will to fight. Pikmin really fucking want to fight everybody. Well, the kids really want to fight then. So, how many do you think so we're saying the kids are all pumped up on drugs. Well, because once you get the horse down... Yeah, it kind of depends. If you've got the horse on the ground... And the kids can start, like, biting it and ripping into it. No, but, like, okay, so even if you're a human being, right? Yeah. And you're on the ground, if you start kicking and shit, that really hurts. Yeah. Like, you'll be fucking people up. And that'd, like, that'd hurt like a bitch if you're just, like, getting kicked around. You're talking about a horse, though. Yeah, if it was a dog, it wouldn't be so bad. But a horse, they have big fucking legs. And if they started just, like, thrashing around, you'd get fucked up pretty quick. Especially yeah, no, if you're... I'm speculating, what the fuck is a horse's carrying capacity? Why carrying capacity? What, so... How many kindergartners do you have to throw on a horse before it goes before down? Before you weigh it down? Yeah. Well, if you just want to bring it down to the ground, I Because if you can keep running and keep charging the kids, I think he's fucked. Depends on the velocity and the angle you're throwing the kids at. I think if they were just sitting on it, it could carry all of them. Ten oh, kids. Ten. Uh, but if you if you threw it at the horse... And then what enough of them weigh... weigh? Like 20 kilos? 20? Really? Yeah. Wouldn't it be more than that? Oh, actually no, they're kind of small. In fact, they're incredibly small. Yeah, I guess, I guess 20 kilos. Because they're about 3 feet tall, and they're not very dense. Um... In the comments below, tell us how... how much your kindergartner weighs. Are you a kindergartner? <laughs> I have you, you. How much do you weigh? Can we throw you? Yeah, I reckon 20 kilos. And a horse can carry like 2 people. Can we so hammer? 2 people is like 140, 150 kilos. I just got a mobile phone, by the way. It's called a so, Zeta Glutton. It can, a horse can carry... I reckon a horse... A good horse could carry like nine, nine, seven or eight kindergartners. Yeah, but this is all... And then beyond that, it wouldn't be able to run very fast at all. Yes. So if you threw 15 kids at a horse, it'd go down. 15. I think you still need to throw them at the right angle. <laughs> you could just sacrifice them and like throw them under its legs so it trips on them. <laughs> like the kid would get <laughs> angled, but the horse would go down. Well, you like um bowlers? That's my fucking. That's my <laughs> ball. No, you tie two kids together <laughs> with the harness. With a chain. <laughs> Just throw it in the horse's leg. 
It's like in Pirates of the Caribbean when they do the two cannonballs chained together. It's like two kids. No, you make them hold hands and just throw them. Oh god, it's like, um... You like hammer throw them. Remember fucking, um... Is it a durian? I think so. You remember, um... Oh, I should have got the rock Pikmin to get that. Damn it. Ah, oh, well. Oh, fuck. Um, you know the... You know Force Unleashed? Yeah. The engine that it used was the same as the GTA engine. Yeah. So, when you pick people up with Force powers and you throw them into other people, they hold hands. To like, because they try and grab onto things to stop themselves from being thrown around. Yeah. So if you throw them into someone else, they hold hands with the other guy and you just, just like... You get two like stormtroopers flying around holding hands. Is uh... <laughs> Is GTA 5 coming out on PC at the same time as Actually, I don't think console? it's... It's coming out on has PC. Has it been announced? I think so. I don't know if it has. Because I really want it. I don't have a console. Wait, why did I do that? I think my, my brain was thinking as soon as they cross the bridge, it's all fine and I should take them off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Guys, good job. Um, I was going to get Brittany to do something. Yeah, so I know it'll come out eventually, but is it coming out at the same time or is it coming out like a few months afterwards? Because I don't want to wait for it. Um... I don't know. Because they've already spoiled the plot. Have they? Yeah. Like, like the, all audio, the audio leaked all the radio stations and all of the dialogue. Did you... From preloads. Listen to it? No, God no. Okay. I want to play it. Like, I Son of never... was dumb and it still had a good plot. I was never too interested in the plot for 4. Like, it was good. No, 4 wasn't a GDA game. What do you mean? It was a good game, but it wasn't a good GDA game. How come? Because the mini games were shit, the exploration was terrible, the driving was janky and awkward. Um, like, it was better to go in a cab than it was to steal a supercar and drive to the other side of town. Like, that's dumb. So then what's different about the other... Um... San Andreas had more arcade driving. It was less realistic, but more fun. Okay. So you think you reckon GTA V will be like that? Well, GTA V is set in um, Los Santos or whatever, wherever it is. It's set where San Andreas was, so I think it's going to be a special it? success. Of this I thought it was a new city. No, it's set in... Um, that's you know, good, I guess, but that doesn't really mean anything. Well, it's just the same. yeah, it's because considering they could put it in, it could be in Asia. It's, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be um, San Andreas 2, basically. Yeah. Is what I'm really hoping for. That's all I want. I just want to play online. That looks uh, fun. I'm not too, I'm not too, too, too concerned about that. But, like, I don't know. There's something cool about, like, just being able to play GTA games with everybody. Like, they're fun on their own, and then just being able to dick around in you know, online. It's kind of like... you got a hundred out. Oh yeah, I guess I'll put some red guys back. What are you even doing? Uh, right now nothing, because I got the cell phone. Uh, and that's what you need to get to the next area. Do you want to end the day then? Um, well we're not at 10 minutes yet, and I need some, some black Pikmin. So I'll just hang around for a bit. I don't know, I need to find a place with some nuggets, but I don't, can't remember what they are. Let's take Brittany with me. What she must be lonely. Nuggets? You know, the, the, the pellets. Damn it, I keep fucking scratching my nose with the nunchuck. <laughs> <laughs> and it shakes it. Um, yeah, yeah, San Andreas so 2 would be awesome. Or Vice City 2. Well, then it's going to be Vice City 2. Also, the soundtrack. Oh my god, the soundtrack is so cute. The, tra the song on the trailer was good. I like the song on the trailer. That's um, J Rock, wasn't it? No, it was by the. You've been a G, you ain't nothing. No, the, the newest trailer. The hood going it was by the 1974 chain gang it's like an indie electro synth pop band oh yeah because Kavinsky's doing one of the radio stations is he? yeah the whole thing well he's programming it he's like oh, DJing it okay so he's and like, I think there was a rumour that Big Boy was doing another station from Outcast that's cool they could, they could easily get big names because they're GTA it's GTA yeah. yeah well GTA and Tony Hawk Pro Skater like defined the musical taste of a few thousand million billion kids that's true yeah just on the merit of having not shit songs in a game for once. What kind of songs was in um, the like Tony Hawk's and stuff? Tony Hawk had Goldfinger. It had Dead Kennedys. It had Primus. It had other shit. Pro, uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 had Rage Against the Machine. Yeah. And other shit. I never really played those games, so it was a lot of good like '90s punk and ska and rock and shit. And GTA 5 is gonna have a lot of good. It's got a shitload of good hip hop. Like, it's got Ice Cube and NWA. Oh, actually, I didn't even go over here, did I? And it's got a lot of black hippie and cool stuff like that. Black hippie? Yeah. I totally forgot we opened up this fucking gate. Mm. I can't remember what's in here, though. You scared? Dude, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> go! It's like, oh my god. 
Holy shit. Please. <laughs> Don't make me go. This is the eyes of a man who gave up a long time ago. Oh, this is... You need three dudes to do this thing, I think. Three people. Oh, I can get that, though. That's good. But you funny? G ain't nothing. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Blow dear. You're Fucking droopy. What a sad What are you doing? Huh? What, are you, what are you doing? What? What are you doing? <laughs> you, can't, you can't get that. Um. Oh, wait, now you gotta throw a Pikmin over there. The Pikmin? That's the slot machine filling up. There we go. Then we go like this. Then we go like this. And we got a lime. We got a lime, Jim. Like a lime to a lemon was a lemon to a lime. What the fuck is that? Oh, yeah. If we take these guys off of. Get off. God. Get off, you fucking idiots. Come on. Move it. Jesus. Um, oh, there's an electro gate. You don't want to get you dudes stuck over there. Um, Can you break it? No. You no, can't. you need yellow dudes. So I think what we would do is if we once we have the third guy, we would put him. Well, you just throw him up there. Yeah, and then you move him across. But then yeah. I'm not sure why. You take that out from behind. Yeah, and then you get that. But you get them in a few more days. I forgot about it when I played, so maybe I should remember to do that later on when I get the yellow dude. When I get the yellow dudes, and then when I get Captain What's yeah. in Face. What's his name? Captain. New fruit recovered. From Charlie. Look from at this Matthew. fucking. Look at that. That's gross. It's a blobfish. I don't want anything. What is it? It's a toady bloister. <laughs> It's a what? It's a toady bloister. Fucking end the day, you know. That's, that's a fun name. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're done. Next time, um, will be the next area. Wait, is that, that's not the episode, though. What? Yeah, this will be the episode. Because otherwise we'll have to do a whole day of the next one. Oh, uh, yeah, fuck that shit. Um, the next area is an arctic area. Where the fuck is my thing at? It's through here. Um, yeah, it's like an ice, ice place. So get ready to be ice cold. Ice to see. I said, what's cooler than being cool, Jim? Ice cold. I can't hear you. Ice cold. <laughs> no, I meant to say what's, what's cooler than being cool again. But I didn't, so... God, we have to fucking sing the whole song again now, don't we? My baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's really